One of the most important skills that a sysadmin can have is the ability to redirect and control standard input, output, and standard errors. This is a very basic skill within the Linux operating system, and I'm going to review it here with all of you. So the first one I'm going to go over is how to redirect standard output. And standard output is basically what you see when you run any command. So for example, if I was to echo and say hello world, the standard output is going to my terminal. So that's why we get hello world to my screen. Now if I rerun this command, I have the ability to redirect the output to a file. So if I go myfile.txt, you can see when I ran that command, I didn't get any output to the terminal. The output was redirected to this file. So now if I read this file, you can see that it has hello world in there. Now if I were to run this command again, and change it to hello world 1 and then rerun my cat to see what's in the file you can see that it overwrote the previous file with the new output now if you wanted to change this so it appends instead of rewriting the file then you can do that by adding an additional caret symbol so I'm gonna add an additional caret symbol and I'm gonna change this echo command to hello world 2 and now when I read the file, it's going to say, hello world one, hello world two. And I know this seems very basic, but it's a very important concept to understand. You're going to be using this all the time when working with Linux. I use this for sending output to log files and all sorts of stuff. So it's really important to understand this when you're first getting into Linux. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show is how to take in standard input. So I could type cat to display this file, but I could also go cat and then put the caret symbol but pointing the other way and then put my file and it's going to do the same thing. Now you don't need to do this with the cat command because it already takes in the file as standard input, but some commands actually require you to use this redirect symbol. The next thing I'm going to go over is standard error. Now what we can do is output our standard error to a file as well. So I'm going to type a command here and I'm going to make it so it errors out. So I'm going to go cat asdf. And this file doesn't exist so it's going to return an error. And you can see asdf, no such file or directory. And even if I redirect the output of this to my file, Dot text, I can see that this error was returned to the shell and when I look in the file, the file is just empty. That's because standard output and standard error are two separate things. So if I want to redirect where the standard error goes, I could go cat asdf, a 2, and then a caret, and go error.txt, it's going to redirect any errors from this command to error.txt. And if I read this error.txt, you can see that the error went there. And this can be really helpful if you're running scripts or commands and you want standard error to go to a log file and standard input to go somewhere else. So it's really important to understand how to do these types of things. Now I could do something else here. I could do rerun this and then say standard output goes to f, standard error goes to error.txt, f will be empty, and then error will have the error in it because there was an error in the command but no output. So if I go echo hello world, and then just type this, you can see that the output is in f, and we didn't have any errors, so this error file is clean. Now, instead of doing two separate output commands, you can actually put this all together and send it to the same file. And you do that by going to caret symbol and one. And I'll say my file dot text. And now when we look at my file dot text, you can see hello world is in there and if I mess this up by not putting any text there you can see that it would also have the error 
and running just echo doesn't give an error so let's type that and now we should see an error in there there so you can see by running this two carat and one will send standard output as well as standard error to the same file and if you're wondering what the 2 and the 1 stands for, these are actually what are referred to in Linux as stream IDs. So stream ID 1 is standard output and stream ID 2 is standard error. Alright, so that's all I have for this video on Linux standard I.O. If you're interested in DevOps or Linux or anything else IT related, please subscribe to my channel or check out my other videos. We also have a Discord with lots of members helping each other out, so if you're interested in that, please join up. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next video.